Okay, so now it's stretch with Lucina and Ike. With red. I mean red with Ike. A battlefield. What is Lucina's um name for Fire Emblem? I don't remember. The Radiant Hero versus the Hero of Time, JK. Okay. Sorty match, it's a big spacey game. So far, um, Stretch has the lead, but Ike really packs in a tough punch, so it wouldn't be hard to. But Lucina is also really good at edge guarding, which um, Ike kind of has to suffer for considering his not so amazing recovery. But really good patience with Stretch when it came to. Um, Reacting to man, what am I saying? Good parry. Oh wow, okay. Very close to just ending the stock right there. Parry to an F smash. Will it also be another three stock on stream? As so far, really in Stretch's favor, considering that he's only at 63% and in all full three stocks. Stretch's recovery has always been so interesting, using um, Dancing Blade to propel himself forward or the other way around. Oh, wow, okay. An F smash on lead. Stretch always really waits for um, the opponent to use their jump before actually reacting. Catching it from underneath. That's easy, okay. Up tilt, up tilt, up tilt. Oh wow, the F smash, very close to reading, I mean, catching the um, B side with the up smash. A lot of B ups out of shield which has been working really well for stretch really. Really close with that. Catching the read, catching the um, get up option. Stretch is really waiting for his um, chance to get in. And that... Okay. So an up tilt catches the stock. And game one. And they call you the Radiant Hero. Man, I love Lucina's um, insults. Her sass. Yeah, they're amazing. I love all the individual quotes like that. Like Fox to um, Wolf or to Falco. Although I really like Lucina's though, the best. She's just so sassy. She's a trash talker. She's a masher. Um, game two, and they've chosen Smashville. The Radiant Hero versus Prom's daughter. The Prince from the Future? Princess from the Future? Catching the first grab. Um, up air, up air, fair, I think. So definitely different from the previous match. Um, Stretch, I mean Ranga. Red definitely has the lead in this one, but Stretch can easily take it back. My turn. Back there. Maybe it was 
is a stage choice, but this is definitely looking better for Red. Or maybe he's found a way to read uh, Stretch better. I guess he uh, read Stretch. <laughs> that was a good joke, right, Devin? Guys? Uh. <laughs> I appreciate it if you like the joke. Get it? I okay, okay. Um, but even though um, Stretch, I mean, Red had the lead. Lucina, I mean, Stretch was able to get the back air and get him off the stage. But now this is the time when um, Red would really, really need to take out the stock before his own percentages get higher. But so far, not getting there. But the up air catches it, catches her, and they vibe in. Down throw up there? No, down throw F smash. So stretch has, I mean, oh wow, that could have been the little mini spike. It seems though um, Red keeps getting ca caught by um, up the out of shield. Which Trick has been really utilizing in this matchup against Red specifically. And Nair takes the kill. So, last stock, game two. Um, stretch at 71. Um, again, we really don't know what's gonna happen because I really. Do a lot of damage. Yeah. But so far, um, Red hasn't been able to penetrate Lucina's um, sword swing. Oh, wow. Okay. Down throw. Down a uh, smash. A really good down smash, actually. I wasn't expecting that. We haven't been seeing a lot of smash attacks from um, Red at all. With the exception of that... Uh, which, of course, is understandable because Ike's uh, smash attacks are very slow. But there are moments like that when um, Stretch misspaces up the out of shield. It's a perfect... And can he actually recover from that? Ah, no, he can't. Ah, oh, man. Anyway... Um, the future is not written. Stretches win. 2 0.